So, you've probably heard the Bangkok dinner cruises are the way to see the city in style, right? Well, buckle up because we're here to spill the tea. What started as a dreamy night of views, delicious food and live performances turned into, well, let's just say it wasn't exactly smooth sailing. From chaotic dinner lines to food that showed up colder than a Bangkok breeze, we had quite the experience. And the entertainment? Well, let's just say the highlight was the boat not sinking. But hey, we're keeping it real. Was it still worth it? Stick around to find out as we break down the highs, lows, and well, mostly lows of our luxury cruise. So let's dive in. And trust me, this is one ride you'll be glad you watch from the comfort of home. Let's go. We're on the boat now. We've got a welcome drink. No idea what it is. That's so weird. What is that? Is that even drinkable? It just tastes like water. With, I don't know, with like an odd ending taste. It's like fake water. Mm. Is, it, is that like, you're supposed to wash your hands in it or something? I don't even know what that is. Anyway, I've drank it. It's all right. He's drank it. Regardless. The food looks really good, but it's so busy on this boat. Unfortunately, we didn't get a... Um, we did not get a seat by the water, but it doesn't really matter. We're quite cushioned in a good position anyway. Right next to the food. So I could, could hear the music behind. I could be better. So with this cruise, we were given a dedicated seat. Um, as you can see, it was very hectic. The food was in the middle of the boat and it was kind of a free for all. So you went up and helped yourself to the buffet. Um, but sadly, this wasn't very well organized and it just kind of led to a lot of chaos. Okay, you sure? Can I try some salmon? Really not. Is it? Really I don't know. There's another one coming. Huh? Can I get up and get food? <laughs> so one thing that I did want to know is that you did get to see a lot of the temples passing through the river. Um, which was stunning, you know, they were all lit up by, you know, the lights there with the black night sky. It looked really stunning. Again, sometimes it was a little hard to see and because of the management of the night, they weren't necessarily too pointed out. Hello guys, uh, I won't be able to be in long. Sadly, it's been very rushed. Um, we came on here and it's literally like we've been there for all. Um, we haven't been able to do much, but we've got a show now, so let me stop this and show you what I've seen. Think so. The problem is, you know the top of it, 
coffee bean should be hard, whereas this is like not hard. No, but I mean, they need to blow torch you a bit more. Yeah. So we have this, no idea what it is. We're gonna get Amy's POV. Come on. <laughs> okay. It's like. No? Do you want to eat the rose? Why? Oh. Okay, I'm going to try the rose. Got some baklava as well, I think. Honey. My tizzled eyes refuse to see. What do you think? So you get like two types of dragon fruit. There's that one, and then you get one that's pink in the middle as well. Doesn't taste of anything. No. Um, part of the fun bit was that the entertainment was great. There was live singers. Um, there was lots of different performances that we really did enjoy. It's just a shame because they didn't give light to those moments, which there were some absolutely amazing ones. I wouldn't say these are not worth the money because realistically, I think the thing that ruined it for us was the whole food aspect, just due to lack of kind of organization and just it wasn't, it wasn't fun to be in. Um, However, if this cruise was done without the dinner aspect, I think we would have had a completely different experience. Um, it was a bit of a shame because it was for Jack's birthday and, you know, it put a little bit of a dampener on the evening just because it didn't go as planned. And fun fact, at the end of the night, I actually fell down the stairs of the boat. Um, it was extremely slippy. They didn't really have any mats on the floor and I fell down and bruised a lot of my leg, um, which wasn't too fun. Obviously, again, that wasn't the best thing. And safety-wise, obviously, we're both young, but if that had happened to an older person, you know, you might not have been coming out with a few bruises. It might have been a lot more. So that kind of was a little bit bad for this cruise. But again, w would it have been a different experience with little things changed? Maybe. So I wanted to jump in and just add a little end to this video. As you can tell, um, I'm in my pyjamas. We're definitely not in Thailand now. This is far after our trip. Um, but yeah, the cruise was questionable. Um, but I think it ruined it for itself. Um, we really enjoyed the entertainment. There was quite a few different acts that were very different, you know, traditional. And we did really enjoy those. But because of the food situation, they didn't actually tell you about these acts and a lot of people were walking in front of them, you know, trying to get to these buffet queues and it just generally kind of distracted from the gems of the boat cruise, I think. We did spend about an hour and a half, I think it was, on the cruise and it was about 20 to 25 pound each, I think this one was. Again, I think it's just a bit of a shame because of the food. I think rather than the buffet option, if this was strictly just a cruise to see the sights, to have the entertainment, it would have been fab. And I think we'd have been coming out with a different viewpoint. Um, but the buffet side of it just really engulfed the whole experience with a negative vibe, which obviously you don't want. Um, especially since we hadn't eaten, we were very hungry. Um, we chose not to eat too close to the dinner cruise because it was a buffet. Um, and obviously with an injury at the end of the night, it wasn't really what we expected. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of wrap that up there. Um, if you haven't already, check out some of our previous Thailand videos. We are uploading our Bangkok content at the moment. Uh, be sure to please like this video. Comment down below what you think. Um, do you think we were fair kind of in what we were saying? Um, and also be sure to subscribe because we have a lot more content coming your way. During our Thailand trip, we visited Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Pai and Koh Tao. I couldn't put my fingers up properly then in Koh Tao. Um, we did have some very strange occurrences during our trip, including a hospital visit. So please be sure to subscribe down below and you will see what we're going on about. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed. I'm going to stop here um, and this will be the end of the video. So 
yeah we hope to see you guys soon and let's see you in the next one goodbye